got it. Hey guys! You did it. Oh. Hey. Hello. Woo-hoo. Happy oh, Music go. Monday, everyone. We're Yay. here Monday. with Music Dark Monday. Island with Sean and why? Do, I don't know why I do this on air. Is it Ty? It's Ty. Okay, good. I got it. <laughs> I think I shared it properly, didn't I? Um, maybe. I think we did. Yep. We'll see. We'll find out. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hello everyone in internet world. Um, where are you guys tuning in from? Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. Mm. What he said. Cleveland. Nice. Kind of, right? We're like... Well, like 20 minutes west. West, yeah. We'll count it. We'll count it, cool. Cleveland. Yeah, That's cool. it counts. Remember we played at, in Cleveland and there was a casket in the basement of the venue? Oh, that was Cleveland? Okay. Yes, yes I do remember that. It was I don't called remember. the Fun House. The Fun House. I think I've heard of it, but... I don't think there might ever... be a really old venue that was torn down, probably. I, don't know. I, don't know I think just... it's still there, but they're not having bands anymore. It might just be a bar now. I've never heard of that. But That's crazy. Yeah, we played there, and we went to... They're like, oh, you could go get ready downstairs, and there was just a coffin in the <laughs> Did basement. Did you like, go like, lay in it and stuff? <laughs> Did, Did Roxy? It? Did Roxy do it? We definitely took pictures in front of it. I don't know yeah. if it was open. It was open. It was? There was nothing in it. We checked for bodies. I know okay. we were like doing it. There was the only outlet next to it, so we like were doing our hair next to this open coffin. <laughs> but yeah, so that was our uh, last time in Cleveland. That's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> then we went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> then we did go to the Rock and Roll. Hall. That's, That's right. That's a cool place. Really yes. cool place. I've been there maybe twice, but yeah. I've never been there like long enough to look at everything I want to so bad. Gotcha. You yeah. do a run through. Yeah, like once I think. I think it was uh, we played there a long time ago. Yeah, we 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 played a gig um, there. They had a stage set up, and uh, can't remember what it was. I don't for remember exactly. I I believe it was like a a battle of the bands, but we weren't a part of the battle. No, we were like the alumni or, or something. I don't know what it was. Yeah, it was really cool. It though. was a co- it was a cool experience going there and playing a show. And I was like, Dad, I played the rock hall. He's like, What? <laughs> We we were supposed to. We were supposed to actually part of like a women. Uh, they were doing a Women's History Month in March of 2020, and when they were supposed to be booking it, that's when everything got shut down. We never got to play. Yeah, the world shut down on my birthday. Oh, oh. yeah, Mar- like birthday, March. Sean. Yeah, I know March 14th. I was like, yeah, then, okay, this sucks. <laughs> Whatever. Well, but here hey, we are. Well, hey, it's also Pi Day, so true. Three. Point one four. Yeah, do you that's all do you get pie yeah. for your birthday instead of cake every year? I I actually like cake way better. I hate pie. Oh. All right. Like I don't like cheesecake either. <gasps> I love oh, cheesecake. I used I, to hate cheesecake. Play, right? I now I like offended, it. I just offended everybody just plain cheesecake. <laughs> everybody. Everyone tell your Everyone's favorite offended. cakes and pies in the chat. Do you got okay, what is the favorite cake and pie? Strawberry uh, shortcake. Oh. I gotta think about that one. I wanna say Oreo marble cake. Oh, oh! Yeah, try it, That's Oreo different. marble. Okay. Best thing ever. I do like ice cream cake. Okay. I, I, I lied. I yeah. <laughs> ice cream cake. Like I like ice cream cake just for the crunchies in the middle. Oh you yes. can, you can like buy Carvel. the crunchies. You mean you can buy like, the crunchies? Yeah, they, they sell them in a whole cup. Yes, dude. You I mean like part. specific Carvel ice cream cake though, right? Yeah. Because that's good. Yeah, it's great. What about yeah. Cold Stone? Do you guys have that? Oh, up in I've never. Sure. For sure, Cold Stone. I don't think I've had a Cold Stone cake. Me neither, because they're be, too like, expensive. Put it, they put it on like, and they kind of like carve it up and make it. Do you know what? You know what I'm talking about? I'm crazy. Maybe I'm thinking <laughs> of something like a like a weird. Um, you put it on like a real cold plate, and it kind of. Oh, cold. were they making in front of you? Yeah. Yeah, like they use like the freaking. Is that it what called? it's called? I don't. Know. I don't know what it's called either, but yeah, <laughs> I yeah, they make like the ice cream rolls. I don't know what it's called. Oh. Something like that. Hmm. But it, that's good too, though. It's really really good. They make it in front of you. It's really, really weird. Like when you got it in the regular cup there? Is that what you're talking about? Or is this a different place? I don't know. I think it's maybe a different place. I don't know. It was was just like a technique that they used to make ice cream, I think. I'm not 100% sure what it's called. Gotcha. Mm. Whatever. I love ice cream. (laughs) So so going back to the whole Hall of Fame thing, are you guys typically, like when you go through a museum, are you the ones who sit there and read every little sign? Or do you like run through the place? I run. Yeah, I... I don't necessarily like read anything. I kind of I kind of investigate and make like observations, not necessarily like of the plaques or whatnot. But I I like to look at the different 
stuff. I have, I have a cool story, though, actually. Yeah. So Randy Rhodes from Black Sabbath slash Ozzy Osbourne. If you guys know who he is. Mm-hmm. Um, his he sister. Wasn't, wasn't in Black Sabbath there, Sean. He was um, just in Ozzy. Oh, thanks for the correction. <laughs> this is like the guy that knows his, his stuff right here. Um, Thank God he, we have someone. We need that. I know, right? I don't know anything, really. I just play drums. <laughs> um, his sister actually flew out and brought a lot of memorabilia with her and he was like inducted and stuff so he has a really cool uh, like shrine of stuff but i didn't get to go see it yet i'm really sad yeah but i'm stoked that he's in there he's nice. super underrated well deserved mm-hmm. yeah how about you annie are you uh are you a runner I'm trying to think if we've been to any well yeah we went to the together. hall we went to the that, hall but like today. I don't know if we've been to any other museums together. But I'm I'm a, a runner for sure. Um, I need to like just make sure I go see everything as quick as possible, then maybe go back if I have time That's to me. like the cool stuff. Mm-hmm. There was one museum in Vegas, the Mob Museum. It's amazing, but there's way too much stuff in there. Like I couldn't even like run through there and see every if yeah. I can't see it in like under an hour. Like everything, just like glance, it's yep. there's too much. Yeah, but it's really it's a really cool museum, and I was like, well, I only have an hour. Yep, I hate yeah. that. You know, I want to go with like no time frame and just go and just look and read everything. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a fun story about running. This wasn't an actual museum, but it was the catacombs in uh, someone ringing. Is that me? Oh, do you hear? Oh, yeah, my, I'm buzzing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like, was that my phone? I don't even know where mine's at. Said your computer buzzing. <laughs> you know what? It was laying next to my computer. <laughs> Good job. So in Paris, there's the catacombs, which is like it's a burial ground that they they dug up bodies from. This gets gruesome, but they they dug up bodies from the burial grounds, and they didn't have enough space, so then they like just took the body parts and formed them into these walls of bones. Um, what? And so. It, yeah, look it up. Just look up catacombs in Paris. So they made these walls of like skulls, and you can walk through it. And normally they take oh, you on a guided I, tour. I've seen pictures of that. Okay, so normally you go on a guided tour, but um, I had to catch a train to like the next city, and I was like, can I just like go through myself? Because the tour is like three hours, and I knew I would just run through this thing in like a half hour. You're like, yeah, go ahead. So I start walking through, and you look, and everywhere you go, I mean, it's the same thing. It's just walls of skulls, but it's cool to see. It's wacky and weird. That's so. Weird. I start walking through and then I get this idea that I'm going to just freak people out. So I start running and screaming, they're alive, they're alive. And I'm just like running through to the end and people are looking and they think there's people yeah. like zombies coming at them. And That's everyone me. starts freaking out and running. Yeah, it was, wait, it was that made me rem- <laughs> wait, that made me think of the wax museum. <laughs> wax I- museums are freaky. Yeah, I went when I was Super younger. Freaky. I went with my friend and we just sat in a chair and didn't move and waited I for people to that. come up to us and be like, oh my God. They're so realistic. It's just like, it's insane. I don't get it. I know. It's creepy. I think yeah. we went to one in, were you with me when we went to the one in Los Angeles? Just right off the. the... I went separately like the year before, but you and the guys went off. It's the... really realistic stuff. Yeah, it's pretty in there. insane. I think I went to the same one though. Yeah. But different times. Yeah, it's. That's crazy. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah, I've gotten so used to people doing that where they jump out at you and pretend they're wax characters yeah. that now I expect it. So I'll go up to each one and be like, "Are you real? Are you, <laughs> are you gonna move? Like I'm just waiting for it are to you jump." Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lindsay Long Arms. I don't know why I said that. Uh, oh boy. Well, hell, just want to say hello to everyone in the chat. If you have any. Uh, questions comments concerns you want us to address uh let us know uh we have uh who, wait let me go back a little bit we got bill in the chat mighty oh, jam okay what's up chris you're supposed to be practicing um <laughs> uh we got an alien matt in the chat i don't know what the alien was referring to <laughs> but yeah thanks everyone for always alien. are yeah. we supposed to see the chat on the side uh, oh. You can see it in this on the side. Um, Click on where it says comments. Yeah, if there's two know. things. This private chat and oh, comments. Wow, look at that. We are look at, like look super that. noob, <laughs> super noobs over here. <laughs> wow. So why don't so... you let everyone know what you guys got going on? You're you're a fairly new project, correct? Very, yeah, super new. Okay, so what's? But I guess we're we're new to 
you know, the world and whatnot, but we've kind of been, we've been around a couple of years just, you know, hiding behind our laptops, writing music. And, yep. and we just recently, you know, I don't even know how um, long ago did we put out nervous? How long ago was that? That was, I believe, was that 20? That wasn't 20. That was 21. I don't know. No. COVID messed what me up, man. It? I lost the whole year. That was 20, dude. Was it 20? That was 20. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Well, yeah, the past, know. like, three years has just been one long yeah. year. Yeah. It's been, like, a big <laughs> blur now because it's everything's been, like, shut down. And yeah. now that we're back, it's like, whoa. But before, <laughs> like, we actually released that music video, we didn't we didn't have anything going on with, like, social media or anything. It yeah, was... we, we did a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff for a long time before we even made our accounts. We just made sure that we had enough to put something out there to let people know that we're here but you know it just took a long time to get to that point yeah mm-hmm. yeah i just scrolled through your instagram and it looks like it's from august 21 was your first 21. uh august 21. was okay. your first was sense. your first official instagram post oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. school according, else, <laughs> according to the internet <laughs> that's crazy yeah it's been a long time we've been working on stuff for a long time we're just busting out what we can but you know it's just tough to put out singles all the time so we're trying to periodically trying to figure out what to do with certain things so it's been a it's been a process for sure so so tell us about that the process what's like what's your writing process like what's your uh i don't know what's your process to figure things out like what do you you got this what are you what are you thinking about like how do you release your stuff are you putting it on youtube is it just instagram is it you know like what do you well, there's two other members of the band that aren't here, uh, Rylan and Eric. Uh, Eric's a guitar player, and uh, Rylan sings. And those guys, you know, they kind of they kind of sit down and create like a skeleton, like an idea. And um, and then Sean and I kind of put our parts into it. Like he plays drums, and I play bass. Um, it kind of it's it's a recording style writing. It's not like yeah, a literally, you know, the old school where you get into the garage and jam. It's kind mm-hmm. of like you're you're just writing as you go behind a computer. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the process. We get ideas, they send them over to Sean. He puts his parts down on his uh, on his um, logic, and he'll send that over to me, and I'll record bass or or throw some out, throw out some ideas. It's cool because we all use the same recording software so we just send the session to one person and then he does his thing and then send it back to this person and he does his thing and then it always somehow ends up to me like the very last like like the whole thing (laughs) and i'm like what do i do with this (laughs) but we try to we try to mix it to make it sound pretty decent like as far as like demo quality so if somebody wants to hear something that's like not ready yet but it's still kind of kind of ready then we have something to show them you know right right so cool what's your writing process how do you guys do it so we do, it, it, we do it the old school way. <laughs> yeah, there's so many different ways now. I mean, everything's different. Yeah, because I mean, exactly what you're describing is kind of what you have, like what everyone had to do during COVID. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we were very used to the old, the old my, way. Just my get together and jam. Box is full. We yeah. haven't tried the old way, have we? <laughs> no, we, we we really haven't. Yeah, we really need to. <laughs> yeah, we should probably actually, you know, Heck get into yeah. a room and play our instruments. Probably. <laughs> down. Hey, if, it's, if that's working for you guys, then then that's yeah. what's going. Yeah, yeah what, there's so many you... different ways to go about it. Yeah, yeah, this day and age, you kind of have to have certain members of bands that know what they're doing recording wise. Because if if nobody in the band doesn't record, you're kind of like screwed because you have to pay all these people to record you that you know that you can physically do yourself, but. All four of us actually record, so it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So it's nice. really, really easy to to write things together. I'm good enough to record my own bass lines. Right? Yeah, I mean that's all I'm we not need. Not like a good like I can't mix a song or anything. I try. I'm not that great, <laughs> but it gets done. <laughs> right, yeah. as, as long as you know enough to make like yeah. a demo. I can yeah. send something forth, over yeah. to you guys, and it's yeah, you can figure out if it sounds good for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> and what about your music videos? Well. You got this one. Josh Emmerich is the man. Yeah, he made he made that one look awesome. Yes. So, well, first let's go back to nervous. Um, so that video was with uh, a guy named Vince Lundy. So shout out to him. He's he's the real OG. He's a man. Um, 
he's done stuff for like Attack Attack, Nine Shrines, and you know all those really awesome bands. But he's like just a super chill dude, and he just knows what he does with the vision, and we just kind of go with him, and we sit down and write a plot, and you know we get to the set, and it's all set up and ready for us to to start rolling. So it's just really cool. Um, but he's really quick. And he's very uh very awesome. But nervous was um a video that kind of got thrown together pretty quickly. So we all had like ideas, but we're like the like the foremost undis what's that word indecisive yes. people in the entire yeah. planet. Like we didn't know <laughs> what we were gonna do. So we had like idea one, and then we were gonna change it, and then we had like idea two, and like we don't like that idea. So it's really <laughs> it sucks because like we need somebody to be like, no, that's just a bad idea. <laughs> But we don't have that. So we just kind of do what we do with other people, um, like Vince and stuff. So it's kind of cool. Like the outcome is always really cool. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you always need that outside person to be like, all right, oh, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like we, yeah, our last video we did for uh, Calling All the Creeps, we had like, we had this really cool puppet theater that we went to that just visu- visually looked amazing. We had these mannequin props that were creepy and we're like, it could be this story. It could be this story. It could be this story. So then we finally got our our friend that was going to film and he's a good, just like director and like, be like, all right, here's, here's this idea. Here's this idea. Pick one, you guys. And then, and like, he was just like, that's enough with all these ideas, (laughs) you know? (laughs) I think we actually wrote out like each person. I was like, all right, you're going to make a plot. I'll make a plot. And like, whatever works, we're just going to go with it. And we all like put our ideas together. And we're like, this is not going to be a good video. (laughs) But it turned out pretty cool. It sweet. turned out cool though. Yeah. Like, it was it was definitely uh, an interesting uh thing, you know. It was just really fun to do and everybody got along really well, which is really cool. You know, especially in the in, in the industry, a lot of people don't really get along. But it's nice to have everybody like as a, a big thing of glue, you know? Yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's definitely my favorite part of like the brainstorming part, whether it's songwriting and jamming yeah. or, or figuring out a video, just that brainstorming part where there's so many ideas just floating around. Like mm-hmm. it's a complete debauchery. There's so many like ways you could go with it yeah. and it's just a mess, but just all the ideas and like excitement of it. Mm-hmm. Right. That's the best. But then you and definitely, it, you need someone else to come in and like yeah. organize right. it all. <laughs> it's but cool now it's like, like, I feel like our video could also have an alternate version. So I've been thinking like, maybe I should do an alternate video. <laughs> Cause there's just like always so much extra footage. And I'm like, well, this could, if I do these clips, this could be a different storyline. Totally. You know? <laughs> totally. And it's cool. Cause like everybody in the band is like, just super open to everything. Like if we have an idea that we're just not like super stoked on it, we'll still try it no matter mm-hmm. what. But it's like, that can lead to different ideas too. So it's kind of cool to, to just branch off of things that sometimes don't make sense, but it does when you get to that point, you know? Yeah, absolutely. If that made any sense. Yes. Well, I think uh, all the sense. The, the Paradise music video, I don't think we had a whole lot of, uh, we kind of just told Josh to do whatever. Literally. Um, I told Josh, I was like, listen to the song, close your, like, go in a room, close your eyes, and tell me, like, what you feel visually. Um, what you think the music video can be and what it should be. And he was like, all right, I got this. So Josh Emmerich, you're amazing. Um, yeah, he kind of took the creative step to the yeah. next level. And I guess like that, the whole scene um, with with the girl and the flowers was kind of something that they've always wanted to try and do. Um, yes, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, um, yeah, so the girl in the flower bed, um, that was all built within like two hours. Like they literally went to Home Co and like built the walls and got the soil. <laughs> It was really cool because like a group of people would work on one set and then another group of people would work on like the second set. So when we're done filming for the one, they'll go to the next one. And it it was like such a nice like change of pace where like it was just a whole crew that just knew exactly what they were doing the whole time. That was a cool experience. Awesome. So, yeah. So I it's I love it. (laughs) Josh is just so good at what he does. And he he, like when he has a vision, he just goes for it. Mm -hmm. And and he never fails to 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 do it so nice and where can everyone see all your videos are they on youtube youtube yes on youtube what is it what is it uh, youtube.com slash dark it should island be, yeah. official is it should a- be official yeah i think it is it should be all right blue eyed matt 42 any other hobby besides music um man i used to like drawing but i don't draw anymore so that's not really a hobby i i enjoy playing golf and um call of duty <laughs> i'm a movie guy though i love movies I what's your favorite hobby, my favorite oh my gosh it would probably be butterfly effect did what's you watch adam project yet i did adam yes did you guys adam watch project. adam project yes 
Uh, no, is that the one about the like he goes into the future thing? Yeah, Am I thinking yeah. of the right one? Yes, yeah. it's on my list. I haven't yeah. watched it yet. You gotta watch I it. did. Good. I did. It is good. Um, or what so about? Like, did you guys see Free Guy? Yes, that's another. So, good okay, one. so I'm not a huge gamer, so I didn't like know a lot of the references. But me neither. I got really the Marvel good. references, but yeah, Ryan Reynolds is so funny, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just want to be his friend. Like, I want to hire him for like an event just to talk to him. <laughs> yeah. Like, that'd be so fun, like a birthday party or something. Yeah, like, but can you come as Deadpool, please? Yes, dude, Deadpool for sure. Pay for a friend. It's like an escort service, but, like, without the gauge, it's like, hire a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. (laughs) Can I hire Ryan Reynolds to be my friend, please? (laughs) Deadpool, too. Which one had, like, his little arms and stuff? Was that? No, the little legs. Was that one? I think it was two. Did you see that? I didn't see any. Dude, I laughed. I, like, I rewinded it, like, 15 times because I was laughing so hard. You're talking about Deadpool? Yes. Yeah. I oh my god. I only saw some of the first one. They're I didn't so see the second good. one yet. They're so funny. I love yeah. Ryan so much. <laughs> I have a crush on him. He's <laughs> a good looking dude. He really is. So Blue-Eyed Matt wants to know favorite movie genre. You know what's funny? I used to like horror movies until I got freaked out one time and I just don't like them anymore. Scene. I don't, know, I don't know. Which, freak out. Which one? I, um okay i think it was the ring honestly because i had to, i had to do laundry that the, one freaked me out too. i had to do laundry the same <laughs> night okay so i got done watching the ring and it was completely pitch black and this is probably like 10 years ago and it's completely pitch black and i'm like i have to go switch laundry it's two o'clock in the morning and the ring girl is going to come out of the dryer <laughs> so so i literally went down there to switch laundry and ran like hell what was the girl's name from the ring she have a name um, she does. Tabitha. Was it Tabitha? Um, uh, I think that's right. I think it was Tabitha. I don't remember. That sounds right, though. She was the one that, like, she was oh, in the well and the hair was just in front yeah. of her face, right? Oh, my yeah. God, they're freaking yeah. out so bad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I like horror movies, though, but sometimes I'm just like... But then you got to watch You gotta watch Scary Movie 3. Yes. And and it'll make you feel better about that. I also think, S- like, if tomorrow. you watch... Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. Mm-hmm. My, tea, same thing. my when I had all black hair when we were younger, my sister used to call me that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> there was there all right, so uh my brother's neighbor had a Halloween prop and it was Tamara, but she was swinging on a swing. So her all her hair was like over her face and she was holding on to this and just kind of swinging on this swing. It was the it was actually cool. really creepy. That's, That's cool. creepy. <laughs> There was a house that had like a super well done, um, uh, whatchamacallit. What's that word I'm looking for? I have no idea. Like a haunted house? Yeah, they like dressed it up like mm. super, super crazy like every year. And I think they made the news last year, but I can't remember what it was or whose house it was. But it was really cool. Really awesome though. Uh, yeah. what, what else? I used to love horror movies in like middle school. And then like once you get old enough to realize that things can actually happen. Yeah, start getting more free of it. Yes. Yeah. I, okay, so I don't like demonic movies, but I've always I've wanted to watch the ring or not ring. Wow, we just talking about that. Um, the Exorcist, mm-hmm. but I'm too scared to watch that, dude. I never saw. Yeah, it. it's see. My thing is, if I watch a scary movie, then I have to watch a cartoon after. Yep, that's how I was before I can go to sleep. Yeah, so it's like put SpongeBob on, clear my mind, and then I can go SpongeBob, to bed. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> what else, Matt? Want to know? Matt has lots of questions tonight. Where's Matt from? And he's and he's currently painting. Matt, where are you from? I don't remember. I want to see. You remember him? Uh, Tennessee. I don't Let know. That's a guess. Everyone guess where Matt's from. Let us know. Uh, I'm gonna say Oklahoma. <laughs> I don't think that's right either. No. Savannah, uh, Georgia. <laughs> uh, he's he's from Tampa. <laughs> oh, you think of Tampa? Yeah. Everybody's from Florida. You know that. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> from Oklahoma. Oh, I got, got it. it. Nice. You got it. <laughs> who, who got it? Oh, you did get. Okay. <laughs> <It's red. laughs> Currently awesome. painting a, a George Michael portrait. All right. Cool. Got to yeah. got to send us that after. I want to see what that looks like. Um, love horror movies because of the fact that one really freaked him out. Okay. Love practical I, effects and the insane yeah. imagination. Yeah. It I really like does. like the Saw movies, but that was like really as far as like my horror. Yeah movies went okay so with saw that stuff you like any gory stuff used to really freak me out and i had to like close my eyes i couldn't watch it but ever since 
like the video that we did with creeps using the mannequins and I've worked at six flags to, for fright fest. And like, you see the, the makeup artists working with yeah, all these, cool. you know, special effects. And you're like, I can think of that now and be like, okay, it's yeah, just, we have a lot of, we have, <laughs> it's yeah, not we have real. Like I have to remind that. myself. <laughs> That's cool. We have a lot of friends that do a lot of like makeup and, you know, visual effects and stuff like that too. So nice. It's really cool to see it, you know, come together. Yeah. Yeah. I really, I, was... I really enjoyed the, uh, the paranormal activity movie where it's kind of like you're the you kind of you're the eyes behind the camera it's right. like i don't know it's, uh oh what about the blair witch project did you ever watch that? that you guys never seen that that no. one freaked me out i didn't see that like, yet what about yeah. it nope i watched i watched the <laughs> um was 19 was it the original one the original, the original one? yeah yeah I, remember I would not go in my basement alone for like three months after that. I was afraid to take a shower. I thought yeah. it was going to come up the drain. Like that freaked me out. And yeah. I was in like middle school yeah. when I watched it. Yeah. Same. I think that my, did it for me with the horror movies. But my little sister and her friend were so scared of it. Like the one girl, like her, my sister's friend wouldn't shower for literally three weeks. And we were like, you smell the clown's not real. It's not coming <laughs> no, up the terrible. drain, you know? And then I also like went around the block and put balloons like popping out of the sewers and <laughs> Is the ring the movie where the hands are coming out of the hair when she's washing in the shower? Is that that one? No. Because that freaked me out. I remember her crawling out of a TV. Yeah. And she would pull really long black hair out of sinks, I thought. Something like that. I don't know. Is that that you're going to die in seven days? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Seven days. Yeah, they call, yeah. they call you on the phone. They call you, yeah, that's right. Don't answer Seven days. Oh, yeah, no one would answer their phone. No. I love it. I love What's the, what was the movie where there was the two little girls that like I don't remember if this was a movie or just part of a TV series that I'm thinking of, but it was two little girls that were like orphaned and they were in some cabin in the woods and then the ghost ended up taking care of them and they were eating cherry pits. Shining. It was just like no. It like shining, but it's not. They were eating cherries to survive, so they were just like piles and piles of cherry pits when the cops found them eventually, like years later. And it's then the, the shining, ghost like goes like off a cliff. No, so no, 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 no. They weren't twins. It was little, it, little girls and two the, sisters. I don't play with us, Danny. <laughs> was that is was that red the rum? Shining? Red rum. <laughs> was that the shining? I think that was. That might have been. <laughs> I think. Because yeah. I'm a huge Ice Nine Kills, so shout out to Pat Galante. Um, that's in that one song too, and I always wonder what movie that was from. <laughs> I believe it's Shining. It is girls, shining. Okay. creepy mm-hmm. girls at the end of the hall. I'll go with it. Yeah, yeah, those are the twins. Sweet. Um, the dresses. I guess this is kind of a question, but are you guys uh, gamers at all? Do you play? Yes. This yeah, guy's I play a Call of Duty. What do you? Oh, Call of Duty. Okay, yeah. I was like, what's COD? <laughs> oh, Tetris. I'm obsessed with Tetris. <laughs> the last game I played was a Nintendo 64 Mario Kart. I have it's a that. Good game. Good I love game. Yoshi's Story. Yeah, but that's like the last game I've ever played. I'm really, really bad at games. <laughs> like my brother, he's a big gamer too, and he, I was like, I want to play, and I like went on the field and died. And I was like, nope, not for me. <laughs> like literally, like a minute, like not even. Yeah, recently my my whole gaming thing has just been Call of Duty. I don't really have a whole lot of time um, to really invest in anything else, but uh, mm-hmm. I've I've seen clips of Elden Ring. That seems pretty interesting. I I don't really get into that style of games, but. What is Elden Ring? Does that have anything to do with Lord of the Rings? Or is that completely different? No. I heard Elden. I was thinking Elves, but that's... I, no. Honestly, it's, it's like right. there's a there's a game that it kind of goes by. What, what is it? Called? Oh. Um, I don't know. But it, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's pretty popular. Um, right. Do you stream anywhere? Like no. Twitch streaming? No. Okay. I just downloaded <laughs> Twitch like two weeks ago and i'm still so new to it that i don't know what to do could we yeah okay so sometimes like after this i'll go on twitch and something weird will pop up on the home screen at at, at every time and i'm still curious about the girls in there in a bathtub in their bathing suits hold on hold on it's never a bathtub it's a blow-up kitty no it's a blow yeah it's a blow-up kitty pool and they're just standing in it, and people are just like asking them questions. That's super weird. It's, yeah, you get some weird ones. It's so There's, random. Um... It's so weird, and you have to like be subscribed for a while to like ask questions. But I just want to be. I like have so many questions. Like, where is the water going when you're done with this? What if you have a leak? Like, I have all these questions for them. 
Yeah. Yeah. Or, or what happened? Well, yeah, there was, there was a really the girl just one. sleeping, right? It was just like this girl was just sleeping. Yeah, there's a weird one that uh, came across. Okay. It was like ASMR, but right. the girl was licking the ear like a fake ear, and it was like oh. a weird ASMR thing. It was really awkward, but yeah. of course she had like thirty thousand people watching. <laughs> it's like yeah, that's crazy. Always. Always. Yeah. Well, now like that ASMR is getting so popular. You, all of a sudden, they're making these commercials for the radio, like mainstream radio that they're doing like ASMR things and they're whispering. And so yeah. like I'll be driving and all of a sudden the commercial pops on. I'm like, oh, no, yeah. <laughs> like, I can't stand that sound of people yeah. like whispering and, or like <laughs> chewing. And oh, yeah, I, I think it's an actual like thing. Like if you hate like people chewing, like it's an actual like. Yes, there was a word for it. I can't remember what it is, but I definitely have it. Really. Like I can't even stand the sound of my own chewing. So, like, if it's quiet and I'm sitting at home by myself eating, I have to turn the TV on or the radio or something. It's like the lady with the pit that eats pickles really loud. Oh, God. <laughs> no. I'll no. You after. <laughs> no, I've seen it so many times and I just want to vomit. Yeah. No offense to the pickle lady. Sorry. It just can't take the chewing. Can't do it. But, yeah, she's got like a billion views on a video of her eating a pickle. <laughs> Dude, you can get like so popular overnight for the dumbest things. Yes, I know the stupidest things. <laughs> you just have to think of it first. Yeah. You have to be the first one to do the, the weird dumb thing. dumb thing. You yeah. really, yeah, you really have to yeah. Do it. like, yeah, it's stupid, dude. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> like twenty years ago, like people would like look at us and be like, "Okay, you're crazy," but now I see all these things and I'm like, "Okay, they're crazy." <laughs> if you're doing it, good on you. Yeah, yeah. like that yeah. one kid, that one like that super uh, young kid. And he like opens like presents and stuff on YouTube, and he makes like millions. Um, Jake's toys or something like that. Yes. Or Ryan's. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, he like opens like. I think it's Ryan. And he's yeah. like fourteen. I'm like, really? You're like making crazy. He was like, like five when he started. Now he has a whole line. Oh, I've in like of line of games in the stores and everything. It's crazy. insane. Kid's like uh, the richest kid, under ten. Uh, on YouTube, I think it's Unbox Therapy. Um. Just, Blo just, like blows my mind. Yeah, and he just he he opens and reviews stuff, and I think he was one of the original guys on YouTube that did that. Probably. And now he's doing really good. <laughs> people people sending him stuff to review and. Uh, uh, Unbox therapy wild. made me think of just like having a box inside a box inside a box, and you just keep opening them. Well, there's this, but there's like, nothing genius. in it. <laughs> you can sell those. But people, yeah, I like, kind of like enjoy watching people unbox stuff Hi, and Chris open Waterbury. up stuff yeah yeah hi chris no hi way. people yeah hey hi. Chris. chris chris I thought oh chris is jumping on every yeah why thing. like he's on youtube now he's I thought on facebook be, yeah he's jumping yeah, around we just have the um the stream chat pulled up i didn't i didn't know <laughs> i don't know we tried like <laughs> oh oh in the actual program that we're on yeah yeah, there's yeah. there's the comments you could see it from youtube facebook and twitch all at the same time. oh that's all right so the youtube yeah. there's a youtube icon you see the little icon yeah yes, yes. Dude, oh. i feel like we're like super noobs right now we're figuring it out <laughs> it's all good super it's all good noob. it was a lot of trial and error for us yeah to figure all right this out. Cool. yeah so we still don't really know what we're doing. like which one of you guys uh that i meet was I think yeah so fun story that was me um i think I, I remember your face like as soon as your name popped up i was like why do i know this name <laughs> <laughs> i remember so, yeah. you Literally. We've been uh we've been cleaning out the studio and just like reorganizing everything and I have just bags and bags and bags of just stuff oh, and it's do. like all right you know covid happened everything shut down and everything just kind of went in the closet yep. and now it's like all right I have to like sort out my life and um yeah I went through a backpack that apparently had been sitting there with a stack of business cards from Nam and there was your name <laughs> I was like That's oh so maybe this guy wants to talk <laughs> so funny dude <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, my, my NAM 2020 bag went to in some abyss. <laughs> in piles of totes and totes and totes. <laughs> I don't remember mm -hmm. what year I worked, though. I worked, like, two of them, I think. I just don't remember what year it was. I mean, but it I had to be, I guess, 2019. I think it was 19. Um, is that when you guys went with me, or is that... No. Is that would have been the last one? We went with you in, was it 18? 18, maybe. And then you, I think you worked next... Uh, well, you worked both, but yeah. then you went again. Shout out to uh, WFL Three Drums. Yes. Hi yes. guys. Oh wait, this way. That's the camera. Wait. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was like I had all these business cards, and I don't know. Yours just like kind of fell under something else, and 
so funny. Emptied out the remember, bag, and I, there it was. <laughs> I remember like, running around like the last day. I was like, yo, check us out. Yo, check us out. And then, but I think it was yeah. my card because I didn't have like a band card. It was. It was your personal one. Yeah. We <laughs> were in a band previous, and I was just like super, super spamming everybody. Like, you know, here's this, here's that. See, it we worked. Get, it I saw work. a drummer on the card, and I was like, perfect. Heck How yeah. many tope did see. you get? Mm. I I can I still find stickers. Oh yeah, I collected stickers. Oh yeah, I'm a big sticker dude. Like mm-hmm. I love stickers. Somebody had a sticker. I took their sticker. I said that weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're always giving out tote bags, and that's like our our little band contest. We try to see who can get the most <laughs> the most free tote, tote bags. bags. Yeah. The record, I, the record I, I think, was twenty three. I think it was Roxy. Yeah, yeah. Our bass player, oh. I think, got twenty three. I think yeah. I had like nineteen. Mm-hmm. Cause no doubles don't count. You have to get. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I was a big lanyard guy though. Like I would go mm-hmm. to the table. Like, you guys got free stuff. They're like yeah, <laughs> we have a lanyard. Got stickers and stuff. I was like, I want it all. So I, I came home <laughs> with like, thirty lanyards, and they're just hanging in my closet right now. Didn't we come with an empty suitcase last time to just put say, stuff like, in yeah. it? Yeah, we did. I started so, to so- it takes up a whole lot of space. Yeah, trying to fly home. What yeah. we did was we we put some stuff in a smaller suitcase, put that suitcase inside of a bigger one, and flew with that. So that on the way home we had an extra suitcase. Genius, dude. For tote yeah. bags. <laughs> <Those are important. laughs> well, you know, then there's always like you know you're going down the Sunset Strip and you go to the comic stores and you go to the record stores and Disneyland. the music stores. Disneyland. You end up coming home with all different gear. Yeah, Disneyland. And by the time you come home, you know you need an extra suitcase. So. It's so crazy. <laughs> you walk into Nam, like there's like so many celebrities that you're just like, this is insane. Like, how does this even happen? Mm-hmm. It's like wild. It makes sense. Yeah. Fun. What was your first impression of like? I was very overwhelmed because I was like, this is like a massive guitar center, but like mm-hmm. better. But I don't know. It was cool because I had to work the first event, like the first time I was actually ever over there. Mm-hmm. So I didn't really get to go like explore. And then uh, B3 was like, hey, you should just go explore because this place is really cool. Yeah. So I was like, this is insane. Like three floors. I, I didn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. You know? But like I would go and check out like all these cool stuff and try to introduce myself. And, you know, that was really difficult because nobody cares about you. Because <laughs> like, there's so many people that they have to talk to like throughout the day and like, you know, meetings and whatnot and stuff. And like you're just like this one kid. that's like, here's my business card. Yep. But it's cool, though. <laughs> I had fun every time I went. It was it was really fun. Um, my f- my first take on the whole thing was like, I'm not a bad bass player, but if you go to Nam and you see these guys playing, oh, the that's bass, how I felt about it's being like, a drummer. Oh, it's intimidating. Oh, totally. it's really yeah. intimidating. It's yeah. like, man, these guys are really good musicians. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. the guy that was working behind, no, it was Alex Gonzalez. I think his name is. Um, he's just an insane drummer, and I'm like, I have to listen to him all day. Well, like while I'm working it, I'm like, why do I even have drumsticks in my hand? <laughs> <laughs> I don't deserve these. Unreal. I think that was the name. But he was he had like like a really cool um acrylic drum set and I was like, this is like the coolest thing ever. I got to talk to him and stuff, so mm-hmm. nice. I talked to like some random people up there. This is crazy. I would never be able to do this. <laughs> I think we spent the first two days at our first name, like in one room. In one like hall. not re- yeah, yeah in one hall, like not realizing that there were so many others. And we're like, and wait, there's like three sections. Yeah, dude, like you just. Oh, there's more than three. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, there's you- different buildings, different floors. Oh. Yeah, it's oh, crazy. The levels right now, <laughs> but like when it comes time to like, yeah, I did the same thing because I was like, oh my gosh, there's a fender room. Oh my gosh, there's a drum room. Oh my gosh, there's this room, and that room has a room. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. There's a room inside a room. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then some rooms you're not allowed in, and then some yep. rooms. <laughs> well, mm-hmm. what's, yeah, what's in this room? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's freaking nuts. Yeah, I, remember, I met the one dude from Kiss. I can't remember his name, but it's the the super tall dude. Is is the hired gun? But he was so mean to me. I was like, I think I was, was just because I was. Was he wearing heels? Was he wearing it? No. <laughs> is that why he, he was tall? No, he was late for a meeting. I think, and I <laughs> said hi to him, and he's like, "I don't have time." I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> get away, Rick." <laughs> Yeah. Mel tried to give someone a sticker, and he said no. Probably, I don't need this. Mm-hmm. It wasn't him, but it's someone else. No, yeah, I can't remember his name though. I'll, I'll probably think of it. As another somebody. tall, another yeah. very, t- another very tall uh, person. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I wish I could go. 
this year, but I didn't plan ahead of time yet. So. So this year they combined the uh, the summer and the yeah. winter, right? They're doing it all in what June? Yeah, June third. Where are they doing it? And I. In the same place. Yeah, because usually the summer one they do in Nashville. Yeah. But yeah. now instead they're doing like the winter location in the summer and just combining them all. Hmm. Have you been to the Nashville one? Never. Have you guys been to the Nashville one? No, our bass player has. Yeah, but... she said it's small. It's a lot smaller. Oh, yeah. I assume it's like way smaller because the Anaheim yeah. is massive, like mm-hmm. huge. But I believe that the summer one this year, well, the combined one, I think is going to be smaller also because it sounded like a lot of the um, companies weren't going. But I haven't looked at the actual list yet. Did you guys look at the actual list of who's going to be there? I haven't looked yet. Hmm. I don't think I. Uh, I was... Segue. What's your favorite breed of big cats? Yes, I love random questions. Dude, main Coon. Shout out to Stamos. <laughs> Shout out Stamos. I love Shout lion. Stamos. So Stamos is actually our singer's uh, cat, and it's um. Mm. You can follow on Instagram. It's a Maine Coon. Follow... Yeah, it's a Maine Coon. They're huge. Dude, he's massive. Like I picked him up one time. I'm like, is this a dog? What? <laughs> like, this is a cat. I I think... But it's massive. I'll, I'll send you guys a picture of it. Is it really long? I th- or like chunky big because usually no, they're really tall, like, right? And tall, like yeah. I think he's full size now. He's full size, but he's massive. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, I've seen people like put them on their shoulders and like wrap them around their heads. I have a picture somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where it is, but it's me holding him like, with both my arms up. And mm-hmm. like every time I show somebody, like that's photoshopped. I'm like, no, it's not. It's really a cat. <laughs> no, they're really big. Shout out to Ryland and, and everybody and Eric. Where are you at, Eric? You working? <laughs> Watching us on your break. I don't know if he is. <laughs> so there's four members in the band, correct? Yep, correct. Standard. Um, yeah, tell everyone in the chat like what instrumentation you have going on there. Guitar, bass, drums, singer. Yep, that's about it. Standard. Yep. Yeah, pretty standard. Four <laughs> one sing- one singer, harmonies. What do we got going on? We'll probably do harmonies because yeah. this guy can sing really well and Eric can sing. So. Incorporate some yeah, we'll, we'll definitely. But like when we record, Ryland does the harmonies and whatnot. Yeah, he, he yeah. takes care of all that stuff. You know, but... So you guys have yet to play a show, like an in-person show, correct? It's all been together online. We haven't, we haven't played together. <laughs> we, oh, we not haven't... even a... Okay, I knew you said to write you hadn't jammed, but like you haven't even... We've been yeah. in like music videos wow. and recorded and all you know whatever and we we've kinda never look like a band we do I mean, you, you <laughs> act like one. but no like we've never actually sat down and like picked a day yet like we were just talking about that yesterday like we need to pick a day to just go out and just jam because ryland right now is on tour um mm-hmm. you guys for... know each other no <laughs> yeah right <laughs> I, don't, I don't know those guys did you meet online no. yeah. was this a tinder for bands <laughs> i wish they had no. <laughs> like that. tinder for know. bands that's weird that is weird. I list. guess it's like Craigslist, right? Like swipe okay, swipe right? for a new guitarist. Like just, yeah. <laughs> that that like might be a good idea, guitar. Mel. Let's start. Let's there you go. Let's be uh... all bass players that never made the cut. Yeah, Eric's been trying out for the band the last <laughs> four years. The running joke. I mean, that would be a great thing. They give you like their twenty second elevator pitch and like a little sample of their playing, and then you can swipe left or right, yeah, or yeah. up down, whatever you know. Somebody write you know. it down. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's on the internet. It'll be here forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, shout out to Ryland. He's on tour with Attack Attack right now, which is really cool. With with who? Attack Attack. Attack. Oh, I thought you said Tech Deck for some reason. Attack Attack. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that makes more sense. Indoor. Dude, that would be great. That would be awesome. <laughs> um, What was the moment that you knew you loved and knew you wanted to play music? That's how you got this one first. I got one. Um. Well... I watched a uh, my brothers. They're they're a little bit older than me. They're about nine, nine and eleven years older than me. And they were in high school and they played, uh, they played a gig at a bar. And I thought it was really cool. So I wanted to play music, kind of look up to my brothers. So I don't know. Um, and to this day, I have a brother that plays guitar and sings, and a brother that plays drums. So Which I one? decided to play nice. bass guitar. Nice. Oh, so you can be like the Partridge family and just, you know, get yeah, the whole band yeah. together. Sweet. Have or a Beatles band. cover band. We're called the Roaches. Oh. <laughs> the Roaches? We're called the Roaches. No way. <laughs> it's nothing official. It's just a, it's, 
the basement jam band and drink kind of thing. It's oh, fun. Geez, that's so funny. <laughs> you know, I was in fifth grade, I think, and I played a talent show in front of like 300 people, something like that. And I was like, this is what I want to do. Because I won like second place and I got like 25 bucks. <laughs> like, dude, I'm going to frame this $25. First $25, first $25 right. ever from music. It's not one single dollar. It's <laughs> yeah. 25 Right. <laughs> but no, it was cool because I was like setting up and stuff. I'm like, dude, this is really cool. Like, even though it's like a, you know, high school or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I was like, this is still really cool. I want to do that. Like, I want to do this for the rest of my life. Yeah. I mean, that that's like 150 years worth of, you know, Spotify plays right there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> you uh, made bank. The money. <laughs> Yeah, if you're in for the money, you're you're definitely in the wrong. Uh, <laughs> Said the most you've gotten paid for the gig then so far. <laughs> <It's kinda laughs> My first paycheck was the biggest one. <laughs> yeah, you've been paid. Yeah, right. Wait. <laughs> Have you guys ever like rolled up to a venue and be like, "Where's the stage?" And they're like, "That is the stage." Definitely. The floor. Yeah. Door. Yeah. yeah. The door, yeah. <laughs> the door. worst, the For worst sure. one is when you have to split up your band and one band member is like on the side of the hallway where the bathroom oh God, is, yeah. and people have to walk past you to go to the bathroom. What yeah, show? In between <laughs> you, in between you yeah, to right. go to the bathroom. Where was that? Like, that was <laughs> like, California, like, like Southern California, somewhere. Yeah, I think starting with like a. But also, B. there's a bar in Long Island that I, I think we had to do that too, but still. Yeah. I just don't like when people have to walk past you to go to the bathroom. Not just past. It's in between like the band. In between that's, your that's band like members. The, then you're yeah. like, what, why? We played yeah. a show with Lido with our previous band, and the stage was literally like, like a, a welcome mat, basically. <laughs> and it, was, it was tough. I'm like, where do I set up? And we like, were almost like on top of everybody trying to play and it was just like so difficult yeah like the first like every venue kind of walk into like all right where's the drummer gonna go and literally how much room do i got oh he's got that tiny corner his kick drum won't even fit <laughs> yep yep i think the weirdest with like drum riser thing situation yeah. was i had to turn the entire stage into a drum riser this was brooklyn. in brooklyn but it was like six feet tall it was so we were so. So low. I was looking down at them like, "Hey, where are you guys?" I'm like, only five foot, so the stage <laughs> was above. It was taller than her head, and that was just I was up there, and the rest of the band was down on the floor because there was just no room. <laughs> stage like that. Yeah. No, that was. It was like a one. tiny corner stage meant for like an acoustic act, and they just started having bands there. Oh, just didn't... Or you walk into the venues that have like a main stage, and you're like, "Oh, I can't oh, wait dude, to play yeah, this! Like, yes, dude, this is about to be awesome!" And then, and then you end up in like the closet. Like, yeah, the bar top, the closet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, they open up the other door. They're like, "This is yeah, really." Oh, Yep. There was <laughs> one really cool venue we played in Denver, which actually the opposite happened. We walked in, there was a cool stage behind the bar. Quixote's we like, oh, True wow. Blue. Yeah, we're like, wow, this is so cool. And they're like, oh no, you're not playing there. You're playing the other room. We're like, oh great. Oh, so man. we go in this other room. It's a huge room, beautiful, huge stage. And we're like, oh my God. This it is was so like cool. an amphitheater. It had like yeah. stage seating. <laughs> but then, cool. then, then there was a smaller stage outside for like an acoustic duo. But they had all the bands play at the same time. Oh, and I was no like, way. hey, why don't we Did like not make any sense. alternate? Because like, like we met the bands and we're like, oh, we're going on at this time. They're like, oh, so are we. We're like, so we couldn't even watch each other's bands. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah. All at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> it's very strange. Yeah, but it was a very cool venue. That's fun. Yeah. Okay, last uh, weird question. No, it's not a weird question. Uh, what's your favorite color and why? And why? I don't think anyone's ever asked why is that your favorite color. Interesting. Opaque. I'm kidding. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Did you say opaque? Yeah. Is that a color? <laughs> no, it's clear. <laughs> no, it's the opposite. I feel opaque like opaque is when you can't see through it. My dad used to say that. I feel like that's a dad. It's a good dad joke. <laughs> Dude, okay, you'd have no idea. <laughs> right, Ty? Yeah. Tell us your best dad joke. I'm really, I'm really bad at dad jokes. <laughs> it's a drummer thing. We call them drummer jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take yeah, that. Mel's I'll drummer take jokes and dad jokes are very, they're on the same uh, level. Some far. Yeah. Yeah. Any opportunity, I take it. I don't care. <laughs> like, whatever. Whatever it is, I'll make something out of it. <laughs> you gotta you gotta fit one in this this uh, this show. You gotta fit one in and completely kill us. You know, I almost you, did it earlier. The pressure is on. I you gotta figure it out. I couldn't figure out what, you said something earlier and I was like, 
I got to make one for that one. <laughs> Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Oh, God. I don't know. Why? Because the P is silent. Oh. Damn. I wish I had one of those. <laughs> yeah. <that'd be laughs> cool. Say at trombone.com. Everyone go and just yeah. listen to that quick. <laughs> Oh, okay. here. Uh, Matt, Matt says red because it can be anger or love balance. Mm-hmm. I both ends red. of the spectrum. I hate red because I've had two red cars and I've both got speeding tickets in. Oh. <laughs> Literally. It's definitely uh, stands out. Yeah. yeah. It stands like out red. a little bit. No. Speeding tickets. Yep. <laughs> Don't know why, but that's just what happens when I get a red car. <laughs> I don't know. How I about you, Ty? I just kind of stick with like neutral colors, like grays and blacks, and I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. They kind of go with everything, I guess. Whites, grays, blacks. I'm definitely a black slash gray guy. Yeah. I don't know. I just mm-hmm. love black. I don't know why. Like my closet is like just black and gray shirts. Yeah. So okay. like when people yeah. say to add color, I just get different colored hangers. <laughs> it works that way. Yeah. Is that that joke? Have you heard the joke oh, about paper? <laughs> have I what? Oh, God, no. We have know. a dad joke in the chat. Have you heard the joke about paper? It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Oh, oh I get it, Tear. You get it got now? It. I yeah. get it. You got to spell it like that. Okay. Um, we are almost reaching our hour mark, so I want you guys to plug again all your stuff that you have going on and where everyone can find you. Um, yeah, I think it's just everything at Dark Island to... Dark Island. I can't even say that right. Dark Island. <laughs> What's that? Change the brand name. Go, go <laughs> yeah. Check out our uh, music videos on YouTube. Uh, Nervous in Paradise. Yeah. Dark Paradise Island slammed. official. On YouTube. Awesome. I really Do hope it. it's official. <laughs> I'm it pretty sure it is. Yeah. I'm pretty. Yeah. <laughs> You'll yeah. find it. Just put it in Dark Island. Maybe <laughs> you might have to scroll a little bit down. But... Yeah, you know. <laughs> It'll be there somewhere. And then uh, Mel has a last question for you. What's up, Are Mel? you ready? Are you ready, kids? Buy your doge. <laughs> All right. What is your best advice, everyone watching? Um, how to stay semi-sane and positive in these crazy times in this crazy world that we're living in. How to stay sane? Semi-sane. Oh, we'll go with that. Wrong person. Are you still sane? Oh, how to my- stay positive. Let's go with that. Um, I think to stay positive, I think you just have to look at the big picture things and uh, try to find a goal and just reach the goal and like set boundaries to to get to that goal. You know, it's tough. Yeah, it I, I'd say just you know try and surround yourself with good people and um, you know that understand that you know yeah, especially with, like musicians like you you can't have somebody that's like always negative like but when it comes to you know being positive with you know, uplifting other artists as well. And I hate seeing like, you know, people bashing other artists on, you know, online and stuff. Like it's not gonna get you anywhere. But yeah. being positive and reaching goals and stuff, I think, you know, like you said, surrounding yourself with positive people as well, for sure. Goes a long way. Yeah, totally does. Yeah. You can either boost each other up or sap mm-hmm. all the energy out of each other. <laughs> like, One or the other. Like it's not a winning game. Like we're all gonna get there eventually, but you know, just don't step on us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good advice. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I don't know if that was good or not. Thanks, guys. It's great. Yeah, Enjoy. Well, it's good. Thank you, guys, so much for for tuning in with us, and thank hopefully, we get to um, see you in person at some point, as well as you guys seeing your bandmates at some point. <laughs> um, we can't wait to see that. <laughs> We'll definitely do this again with all four of us for sure. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely film like when you guys meet. I want to see that. Yeah, why don't you do you it meet like live? Mates, that needs to be like live streamed. Yeah. Yeah, live stream it. <laughs> yeah, whenever just... I miss my bandmates, I just pull up YouTube Dark Island Official and look at <laughs> and like, yeah. oh, I was in the same room with them at one yeah, point. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. I think about we've never like jammed together, but. We can make some crazy music. We have like 30 songs like left in the chamber. Awesome. It's insane. That's great. <laughs> well, everyone, make sure you go and follow Dark Island Official everywhere. And we will see you next time. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Bye, guys. Bye.